Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Minecraft update video. It is Snapshot 18W21A. Another snapshot with tons of bug fixes and an introduction of a feature which brings the game closer to the Bedrock Edition. Now, I've already covered this feature in a video on the Bedrock Edition on my channel and currently implemented in this snapshot it is as if it doesn't actually work. Now, I'm getting this from the notes on Minecraft.net that dolphins will now lure you to treasure. It does not seem to be the case. Now, if you hear me saying something does or doesn't work um, and showing you stuff in the video, I've tried this in creative mode and survival mode in multiple different locations. Now, the first thing you'll notice is uh, when you hold food in your hand, the dolphins come close to you, which is cute and adorable and when you feed them you will hear a slight clicking like sound can you hear like that that's them chomping on it then they will give you the uh, the dolphins grace effect and then they will start to swim around like this but notice that it isn't really going anywhere and again I've tested this several different times now let's try this in game mode survival and we should get dolphins grace this time right Ah, you get dolphins grace sometimes. There it is. It's in the top right. Awesome. So we can now swim faster. But the dolphins that I feed have not been leading me anywhere with any type of food that I'm feeding them in creative or survival mode. What they're supposed to do is take us to bury treasures. I have tried this next to a shipwreck like we have here. We actually have some buried treasure just over here. This is going to put me inside the block. Um, oops. <laughs> Let's change to creative and then change into observer mode. So there is a chest just off the shore here. And I've also been to some ocean ruins as well. And at no point do they ever lead me to the chests that are nearby, even if they are clear and visible. Uh, I've kind of lost my bearings a little bit. There's the shipwreck that we were at a moment ago. So just under there, there is buried treasure. And the dolphins aren't leading me to it. So let's pretend for a moment that this did work like it does on Bedrock Edition. There would be multiple chests full of treasure in the area for the different structures and buried treasure under beaches. The dolphins would swim to them and they would keep going to the nearest one until you destroyed it. That's how it worked on Bedrock. And then once it had been destroyed, they would then find the next chest and lead you over there. So that's possibly how it's going to work in this snapshot. And we might see a snapshot B tomorrow to fix this because it's supposed to have been implemented yeah, it doesn't seem to do anything. So onto the bug fixes. If you have ever spawned mobs on water, you would have noticed that they kind of drop down into the water. Um, that's not quite the case at the moment because this is a bug fix. Not really a big deal, but something they've done. The mob will now spawn inside the water box that you click on as opposed to above it. So a two high will have half of its body in the water and a one high mob will be spawned in the water itself. Now I'm spawning in dolphins because these would previously not despawn if they started to play with items. Now, when you generate the world, sometimes things break like kelp and it creates items in the oceans, then the dolphins can go play with those items. And I think what they do is momentarily pick them up like that one did there and chuck them around. And this would cause them to not despawn. So that could be quite bad if you're exploring and uh, you're creating loads of entities that won't despawn. And uh, you saw there the dolphin found its way back into the water. Wonderful. These dolphins um, could also have armor equipped onto them. Most mobs, when added into the game, have some slots for armor. And even though it wasn't visible, these dolphins could have them. And Mojang decided that that's no longer going to be the case. Because, you know, with commands and stuff, you can make super cheaty dolphins that were difficult to kill and all that kind of stuff. Anyway, they've decided not to do that. Um, another thing that's happened is some items have been renamed. If we go look up music discs, sorry, I said renamed. What I meant to say was the colours have changed. Well, these ones have changed back to normal. They were previously white. They've gone back to being blue again. If we type in gold for golden apple, you can see this now has its coloured tooltip again. And one that has actually changed, these used to be grey. You can see tools now have those green colours down there. And they've been changed from just being bland and grey. That was something that I noticed. So, yeah, they're going through and refining a lot of things that have been broken. And one of those was the colours of certain items. Let's do a little test together as there is a new option available in options.txt, which means you can't access it through the options menu in-game. I'm scrolling up and down with my mouse wheel and we can see the speed that we're going through these items at. So here I am inside of my snapshots folder and if we open options.txt 
and then have a little search for mouse we're going to find the new option which is for the mouse wheels sensitivity and I don't know if this can be set above one if it is one the maximum but let's pretend that it's not and we'll set that to 10 and save it and that should adjust the mouse wheel sensitivity so I scroll up once and twice and you can see um, that it does indeed go upwards I can probably set it lower as well right but there you go, you can adjust your mouse wheel sensitivity. That's probably useful for a few people out there. I should also mention I had to restart the entire game to get it to update from the options.txt file that we edited. But anyway, we are now on the website to check out the uh, the bug fix lifts. There are two of them that I have highlighted here and I wanted to talk about. This first one has annoyed me for years and years and years. So many times on myth busting would I open... Uh, the world to land to log in with my camera account and then you wouldn't see the skin on my player I had to swap it around I had to use my main account as the camera account and then I would get tons of comments asking why my skin was different that has been fixed I never anticipated that one would be fixed it was just a quirky thing in Minecraft that didn't even think twice about the second one right here lots of people have been saying that this really needs to be fixed structures from old worlds don't regenerate if opened with 1.13 standalone client slash server so any world upgrading to 1.13 wouldn't have ocean monuments there wouldn't have woodland mansions that's a really big deal and i'm really glad to see it's been fixed well i have one last thing to comment on and that is the performance of this snapshot if i press f3 and we look at the memory you can see i've assigned two gigabytes and that's because when i was playing in 20c i was having really bad memory leak issues and it looks like it's still filling up a fair bit it's at 1.1 gigabytes and i haven't been in this world for very long so it could be that the memory leak issue is still a problem in this snapshot but it does seem better at least when i'm just hanging out in one area so that should be good, it should be a bit more playable. Still a long way to go it feels like with the performance, but a lot of the big bugs are getting taken care of. And that's going to be it from me this snapshot video. Um, if you have enjoyed it, leave a like. As always, thank you for the support. And I will see you soon with another snapshot video. So ciao for now. Bye bye.